Yeah. Hey guys, we're there. I didn't just run across the building to get a sponge. Totally didn't happen, but I did. All right, so welcome to our lovely show. We do, all of you YouTubers out there, and there's really not as many YouTubers, but Omar is here. He's with us. William. So. William, not Omar. No, Omar's here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Omar's here, and so is William. We have William in house. William, come say hi. Oh, look, there's Rusty, too, outside the window. Oh, jeez. So, anyways, so, William stopped in today. Hi, YouTube friends. Yeah, so, everybody, William from Nevada is here. Look, he's, this is, this is William. Anyways, so we're happy to have him. He'll be hanging out with us in studio today while Kevin colors. <laughs> look, I got, bring the coloring I, books. I got some, some spirit <laughs> fingers out of that one. So. Mm. Oh, and Ron is going to be here tomorrow. You will have just missed Ron. Will you still be here? Or are you going home tonight? I'm going home tonight. All right. Well, guys, you just crossed, but you should have communicated about that. <laughs> All right. So maybe a month ago that we started this? Oh, yeah. Actually, I mean, if you want to talk about the tooling, it's been a rather long time. So yeah. this has been the 2023 Kevin Project. You know. Yes. I was thinking oh. about that last night I don't, I don't know when you I reminded you. me that I had to do this. Yeah. <clears throat> and I was thinking, you know, the last time I made one of these roses uh -huh. was right before I married Becky. And I, this was my, my flower gift to her. That was the last time you made one of these roses? That was in 1981. No, that was the last time you gave her flowers. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have given her flowers, thank you. Rusty came in Some just for that. Be, uh, <laughs> um, anyway, and then the coloring, that's the thing. It's been 40-some years since I've done one of these. So Dude, That's 42 years. I know. Don't go expecting much because that's probably all right. what you're I mean, your get. rose is great. Well, the, you know, the rose is okay, and they can't see it all that good because they're looking on TV, and it's just like we, anyway. It's just like we. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, this is Kevin's second rose attempt in 42 years. So I think he's doing pretty good. Everybody should give him a round of applause at home. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> boy, thank you. Let's see. We have we have all these fun, gay little colors here in the back. If I can read, see what they are. Ooh, we have green, and then we have green. Yeah, we had two greens. I see that. I think I got those in two different trips. Uh, well, okay. We got a... We got a do what we're going to do here. So if I move this over, I'm still okay, You're right? still great. Happy days. Well, we're going to do kind of what we did. Yeah, so we this is an inverted tooled rose, mm. which means that all of your lines are inside yeah. the line unless Kevin messed up and beveled on the outside of the line. Which Kevin has messed up. Which he did a few times, but we're not going to judge. We're not. And, and if you see it, just... Keep your mouth shut. So, um, <laughs> and so he he did this, and it was from one of the Al Stolman books that's forever ago old called Inverted Carving. So if you guys are out there, I know, like, Michael found some books on eBay. I think it's a, is it a discontinued book, the Inverted? Uh, or do we still, okay. So if you can find it, they are still out there. Um, it's an old Al Stolman book, which is where we got this design. But you can pretty much do it with, you know, whatever carving you have. You just, everything is kind of encompassed inside the the swivel knife lines. So anyways, so we tooled it back who knows when, 1981 seems like. Um and then we got to coloring it here about a month ago. It's kind of pretty. Um <clears throat> so by the way, just to set the proper stage for things, I'm kind of messy when I do this. Yes, would you like some gloves? Not particularly. All no. right, well then get messy. Well, it was you I was worried about because oh. you're in the proximity, so but that's okay. I don't really care if you get messy. Thanks. Very I appreciate much. that. Yeah. So we are using all Angelus paints. Uh, we're not using any dye. This will be yeah, completely colored took, with Angelus paints. I took a paints. good old fat brush full of green paint, and I, I'm slopping it around here on this paper plate. And You're making it a watercolor. Well, they're all watercolors. You're making it a watery color. It is a very watery color. <laughs> you know, I think maybe we could use a little... 
another watery color in here. All right. Although I really kind of hate to, but let's see if I can fake it. There, I just put some a little smush of white off to the side so I didn't mix up anything too drastically. Oh, Ooh, that's exciting. Look at that. Now it's a nice watery green white. Yes, that's it actually is. That, that's quite nice. I hope I hope it's enough. I don't know that it will be, but I guess hey, we can always make more. Just like the Doritos thing, you know, you can crunch all you want. You can always make more. <laughs> <sighs> I do love a Dorito. Yes. Okay. We're going to slop this stuff onto here. I say slop because I'm not as careful as I could be, and I'm not going to be as careful as I could be, but there's a reason behind it. So I didn't want you to think that I'm all that klutzy. I probably am, really, but... I feel like you, you typically do leather work on a, a little bit of a klutzy basis. I think you're, you know, I hate to say it, but you're probably right. Kevin's one motto in life is... It's it's good enough, and it doesn't have to be perfect. That's it. So, you know, there's a lot of leather crafters. A lot better leather crafters than I am. That is for a fact. But I still enjoy it. And uh, I can do decent work if I set my mind to it. It's been a lot harder setting my mind recently. Yeah. You do tend to have a lot of things on your mind. Well, I've got a lot going on right now, you know. Kevin's just about ready to flit all over the country in a few days here. I am going to flit, boy, <laughs> let me tell you. He's going to go rock by in this weekend. He didn't think he was going to, but he got to looking out on retail, and he was like, we really need some rocks. We have to have rocks. So I'm going to go to Denver for, I don't know, three days maybe or whatever, and then I'm going to come back and spend a lovely day here. Similar, well, it would be quite akin to a vacation, actually. <laughs> and then I'm going to go fulfill my vacation obligations that my dearly beloved current wife has told me. <laughs> His current wife. <laughs> well, well, she is. Uh, we're going to go to Oregon for uh, 10 days. So we're going to go out there and make sure all the... She's making this workaholic take a vacation. Yeah, she's, she's going to have to pronounce it correctly if you go to Oregon. Okay, well, I'll go to Oregon and, and I'll tell them how to pronounce their state. <laughs> and uh, get lynched if you call it Oregon. Oh, I, I believe me, I would never call it Oregon. Not to their faces. <laughs> Unless I was in the right circumstance, and then I would. <laughs> but she obligated us for this trip some time ago. And I real, really feel like in view of the circumstances, if I were to say no, that would be an extremely stupid thing to do. See, even Kevin knows his limits. Oh, yeah. You know, it's really, she hasn't gotten you on many vacations over the last few years. No. You've been you've been a little difficult to get We've a hold of. We've gone on just tons of vacations, just tons. We went to Arkansas last year, a time or two, and dug quartz. We did some hard rock mining, and that was a lot of fun. She you should see her with a crowbar and a rock hammer. She's pretty good. Yeah, I'm sure you stay out of her way. Well, not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> not too many people, though, that goes like, we went on vacation, we dug rocks. Yeah. What's I'm, wrong with that? And then they brought them back and then made all of retail clean them for like two months. No, 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 no. I hate to tell you this. This was... Part of the beauty of our vacation, we got to come in on the weekends and clean them. He really just made her work. That's what he means by taking hey, a vacation. She just <laughs> wanted to do that, and who am I to discourage when somebody actually wants to be with me? And she does. She likes being around me. She does. She adores you. I it's know. pretty cute. I have to make sure I get her to watch this. <laughs> You're my favorite, Becky. Oh, she knows that. <laughs> we get along wonderfully. 99% of the time. Hmm. Okay. We're running, going to run out of green, so we got to soak up a little bit more from the cap. And, and are you flying to Oregon? Well, I ain't going to walk. <laughs> I mean, and, and have you checked your tickets? 
Uh, yeah, she checks them. Okay. She got that app. It's good to go. Uh, she's got something or other. She got a cell phone. Isn't that all you need? Well, I would have so thought. I would have thought so. About when they leave, Liz? Cause I just want to make sure they get out of here on the right day. Oh, you mean that like a day later? Late? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> there was that. Yeah. So you know, just just double checking. I'm just double checking. Okay. You know, well, I know that I have to remind you like four days in advance of these things, so. You're a very helpful person most of the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have your moments. Now, I went ahead and uh, mixed a little more water, a little more green, a little bit more white. And you know what? This is probably not going to be the identical color to the last one. But I like it. It's a little bit brighter. It kind of adds a little contrast. Well, and as it dries, it will dull up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that's something you want to keep in mind with acrylic paint, is that when it dries, it is different than when you put it on there. I feel like that's the same with dyes, too. A lot of times. Yeah. So if there's little, little bitty splatters of that darker green there. If you want to, you can pick up a little bit of that with your brush. And, uh, the question from the, the, the peanut gallery over here. Uh, does the acrylic paint tend to spread into the fibers like the dyes do, or is it no, pretty they, much surface? They, the thinner they are, of course, the more spread you'll get, or I mean the more penetration you'll get. But they're typically not a penetrating stuff. It's mostly sitting on the top. And that has advantages and disadvantages. Number one, you can paint right over it. Now, it's not that you can't paint over dye, because you can. But dye has a tendency to bleed through paint because it's almost impossible, maybe not quite, but almost impossible to remove all the pigment from solvent-based dye. And when there's some left, it's just out, it's flat out going to come through the acrylic paint. Black is a good example. If you, uh, if you paint something black, then, and then use some white acrylic paint over the top of it, that's gonna be yellow. No. <laughs> am, I make, am I making it difficult it's to see? It's just we have a really nice hand right there. Oh. We see all, all your wrinkly you knuckles. Did he put his hand in the way? Yeah, there it is. Is we it out it. of the way? Uh -huh. It's okay. <laughs> and when you do this, it's really helpful if you have a pretty decent brush. Um, if you don't, you're not going to be as happy as you would be if you had a decent brush. And... It is, Josh. It is inverted. Yeah, which makes it easy because you can kind of stick the point of your brush in the little pointy areas, and that's a good thing. And You don't have to worry. We're, we're going to sort of kind of do three three coats. I think in the old books they used to call this monochrome where you would use brown but you'd use three shades of it to get the color, get the effect that you want. Probably not the color that you want but the effect. So we've got we've got green leaves and they're actually pretty happy just like that. Yeah, I mean, you, could, you could leave them like that. That'd be glorious. It would simply be nice. Now, being the lazy crafter that I am, I'm going to try and get away with as much as I can. So my next shade is going to be a darker green. Hence, more green. <laughs> this has a... This has a lot more strength to it. Woo. Careful there, don't go splattering Kevin any more than you have to. And you won't need as much of this as you do the base coat. So trick is we're just gonna might spill some paint on your rug, I don't know. You know, I guess I could be more careful. Set a proper example. That would be a first. Yeah. <laughs> So then you got to look kind of sort of, uh, uh, just, yeah, I 
just am not. Ooh, look at that. I, I brought in a real dark one for you. Hey, if you want to see something neat, I just set this brush down like this. Uh -huh. And it rolled. It, it rolled right across there without me intending it to roll. Yeah, and I see and it. And you little. leave little marks. So be careful where you leave your brush. <clears throat> Because you say that that's neat, but sometimes it may not be. Oh, man. My little boy, he was about two at the time, sitting on my lap, and I had done a, a clock with a nice Palomino horse head on it. Mm -hmm. And I was getting ready to paint the inside of the nostrils dark brown, you know, and I set this somewhere, and he bumped it, and it rolled right across the happy little horsey. <laughs> so... Was he a very happy horsey after that? Oh, well, he was a different color. <laughs> a little bit darker. Oh, boy, yeah. But you know what? We put a white streak down his head and... and uh, you know did you make it work? Called, Kevin? The customer loved it. I'm sorry? Do you know what the white streak is called? Yeah, a white down streak. Down his head? A who? A what the white streak down the horse's head is called. A white streak. Perfect. What's it called, Tony? I think that was from the top of the bottom. Well, that's what it was. Yeah. Like from the forehead down this way? No, the other way, down this nose. Down this way? Yeah. Okay, maybe. Now, with this, there, with the light green base that we put down, we just got it on there. We slopped it on there. Happy days, quick, get it done, and good to go. Just like that. But with this darker color, not sure this is dark enough. I might have to put a little black in there. But this darker color, we're going to really make sure we're working with a drier brush. And what we're going to do is kind of work from the darker areas of the leaf out towards the lighter areas. Oh, so right in the in that bevel line. Yeah. Okay. And I think I think. Could you make me like right here? Oh gosh, you make life difficult. I know. Thanks. Sorry. Right. I think I'm going to try this to see if it's right, because as I said, this is one of the beauties of working with acrylic paint. You can paint right over it. Right. Well, and, and one thing that I really observed about doing the rose last time that we did it is you changed the color of that rose three times. And if you had tried to do that with dye, your rose would have just turned, I feel like, a nice brown. Yeah. Because the dye building on top of the dye inside the leather, you can't. You can't put orange on top of red and then yellow and then expect to get all of those different colors with a lot of coverage. I mean, you might, but I feel like you're going to have to be a very special person to do that. <laughs> okay, now this I, I think I like a little better. It seems to be a tad bit dark. I'm going to let you guys know that Kevin is twirly and it's not good for Tony's videography, so just bear with us here. I'm just glad that William gets to see this part of it. It's funny. Like, I go on and get the camera set and I come back over. As soon as I get back to the computer, he moves the. There's been a like, twirl. <laughs> Gotta walk back to the camera again. Isn't live TV wonderful? <laughs> right? Uh, well, I am just sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if there's one thing. I have a superpower. He likes to make things difficult. I can More difficult than they need to be. I complicate s simple things. That's you know, I it's mean. funny, though. This morning, we're over looking at leather, and, well, I was looking at leather. And I was asking Kevin what these oil cans were, and I said, Kevin, do you know what this is? And he said, I'm going to give my best Tony answer. It's leather. <laughs> <laughs> so that's now what I was say to me. Well, that's because it's what you said to us in the beginning. Uh -huh. So it's really just full circle. <laughs> hmm. Well, nobody has more fun than people, right? <laughs> yeah. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with it so far. It's okay. Chevy, I am not going to Blade Show West. At this point, I if I make it to Blade every year, I'm doing good. One thing it really helps... Or it would help to do. I mean, there's there's a couple of ways you can go at this, what, what we're doing here. Okay. Number one, you cannot care about light. 
and that in that instance you have kind of what we're doing here we're just painting a picture and the light is going to be wherever it comes from okay on other things like these little pine trees here mm -hmm. you know maybe i should just stick to one thing first okay um, I knew you were going with the greens today, though, so I, I put them back out in hopes that maybe we'll get to them. Yeah. Well, pine trees are pretty easy, especially those since they're really little. And when your brush is dry, that's really important, uh, working with a dry brush, at least it is to me. It may not be to you, but it is to me. Um, and there's an art to that. Mm-hmm. When you work with a really dry brush, and there's a lot of different ways of drying it. You can put your brush on a paper towel or a sponge or newspaper or whatever. Get it dry because you don't want to splotch that dark color out to where the light colors were. Okay. And so you, you work very gently toward the outside. And believe me, the drier your brush, the happier you will be. Um, and it, it just takes practice. That's, that's all I can tell you. The more water you have on your brush, the harder it is to get it dry. And, but you got to do it. You want almost no dye. And it doesn't take you long, or it, hopefully it won't take you long, to figure out, you know, just how dry that brush needs to be. And that way you'll load your brush accordingly. That's kind of fancy talk. Yeah, that was that was a beautiful description. Okay. We're, we're getting that this getting this darker stuff here in there, and then we're gonna do that's kinda cool. Yeah. Then we're gonna Seriously, get some dye off of this brush. And then we'll see if we can't... Blend a little bit? Yeah, just pull some color out uh, towards the outer edges. and That's all. It, that's a good word, Liz. It blends. Good job, Liz. Yes. Circle. Circle the I get a compliment, like yeah. a Kevin compliment board. <laughs> Gold stars. Circle the date. Little leather hides. <laughs> oh, there you go. The cowhide counter. Uh, oh, little guitar strap. Like a Kevin strap. The tail on the horse Yeah. You know, I don't know that I really want to. Well, why not? Things right. So are you going to pull the brown all the way up into the stem, or are you leaving that stem green? No, I think I'll, I think I'll just paint them brown. Okay. And one thing you really should get in the habit of doing, and that is, excuse my taking the picture away here, but you should get in the habit of standing back and looking at it. Like from Look here. at it from five feet away or six feet away, even. <laughs> Look yeah. how good well, you really guys. should. Oh, there you go. Two of them and they're far enough away. You guys are far enough away. <laughs> well, most... imagine that you've put it on the wall and you're observing it from a oh, safe yeah. distance. Yeah. yeah, most people, when they do this, they, they don't, when they paint, they, they forget to look at it from a ways away and and in reality, most people don't look at your work from right up here, like this. Right. You know, they look at it from a little ways off, and and it enables you to see what you need to do, just immediately. And you just put that extra stuff there, and the stuff down here, and that blends it out pretty okay, sort of semi, kinda. And we'll just slop some, some. Some paint on this. You want to slap some paint up here? You scoot your project up. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Bob, be clear about things. <laughs> I did what you asked. You did. 
in the most ornery way. Well, if anyone that ever deserved it, it would be you. As much as grief as I get around here. Because you've given so much. We have a lot of we have a lot of grief in our bank to mm. award back to you. Well, I, I, you know, I can't really argue with you. <laughs> in all fairness, I have given up a bunch of grief. Yes, Chevy. Kevin did tool this. Oh, yeah, this is some of the trading cards that he did. Um, It's been a while back. Yeah. I don't know. You'd have to look it up and see which trading cards. It's been, it's been all, it's been a minute. Okay, shplop. There's a little bit of black. Although I will say it's probably since we did the rose, because then I was talking to him about coloring the rose, and I, I think, I think the conversation was, is that you could color the trees while you color the rose, because it will be the same colors. Okay, we just splopped. <clears throat> just a little. Some black nope. in our green. This way. Just a little bit. Okay, thanks. <laughs> You're off your paint slop there, Kevin. Oh, what? Yeah. Perfect. So you put a little bit of black in your green. Yeah. This we're gonna the light will be coming from above. Yeah, you have to kind of get a little pokey here and don't get all caught up in getting too careful. Now I mean that's fine. If you're a bony fied genuine artiste, which I am not, you can do this kind of stuff as perfection-y as you wish to do it. But I'm just not that guy. Mm -hmm. Then, I do want to get enough dark in here to give it some, some character. Is this going to be a snowy tree? No. Okay. Although we could make it a snowy tree fairly easily, but that's that's good enough for that for the moment. Okay, and back to the ropes. Let's see. Okay, darkity dark dark. Ooh, more black. Ooh, I thought we did just more a little water smooshes. Maybe a little more black. There it is. Oh my goodness. Now we have black, black. Maybe a little more green. You like to paint. Well, you know I do. There's paintings of mine hanging around here. I know. It's got fishes fun. painted. Oh yeah. Hey, that you know I like that fish. That's I, a, it's a cool fish. One day you're gonna have to make <coughs> one of those boxes. Oh. That so may not be a happening thing, I can tell you. Those boxes are a book. That, yeah. Ooh. Could you double team with Denny to make a box? Um, that would be extremely difficult. What if you tooled the top of it? Well, tooling the top is easy. Anybody can tool the top. If you tool the top and paint it, and then Denny could make the box. Well, see Denny make a round box. So that's like a it's like a competition challenge. No. <laughs> um, it's just that I've made quite a number of those round boxes. Well, you know, we do sell round circles, so I feel like you just click out some rounds, and then you just sew them up on a 45. Denny can sew up on a 45. Uh-huh. You made fishing poles, making, holders. Making that lid. Have you taken that lid off of there and put it on there? Yeah, it's a good shrunk. Yeah. Right. It is a really good shrunk. It just kind of goes. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not the only one here. Yeah, that uh, make it, the the trick 
you could make the box itself sort of kind of okay. And there's a couple tricks to that too, but, but that's okay. You can learn those tricks easy enough. Getting that lid to squish down on that box and look good and look perfect, everything is straight, that is really, really hard. I mean, didn't he make saddles? That is not the same. <laughs> I'm sure Danny could make a box. You ought to challenge him to do that. I'll do it when his arm's all healed up. It'll be a 2024 project. What's wrong with his arm? Well, he caught a root today while he was post hole digging on or Sunday. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so he's he has a doctor's appointment later today, and he's hoping that he doesn't have anything wrong with his rotator cuff. But he, oh, he can't move his arm out like this. He can only do this move. Well, that's pretty much what it is, you know. So he's over there like... Gimpy Tulin on a tapadero. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> he's like, I just, he's like, I set my arm on the table, I hold the tool, and then I tap it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we had. That is a very nice chunk, Kevin. Yeah. Maybe there was some more luck to that than what I care to admit. And that. I mean, yeah, the leather thickness is going to play a part. Actually, so there's just I, some math in here. There's some math. You guys see it? So that lid is on. There is I absolutely pick it up. no math whatsoever. Well, I mean, if you don't pay it, like, but there could be. You could use math. And or maybe that will make it math. easier to replicate. Actually, I, I'm not sure you could. And it's, You're not sure you can math? I think... Part of the problem comes in is in the hand stitching. Because if you pull it really, really tight, you start to get this dished out. It is very like it's a nice Yeah, it's not it's a nice out. ninety. And actually if you could remove the lining in there, you would see a multitude of sins. <laughs> <laughs> Just a multitude. I covered them just kid you not. Covered them up with some maroon suede and called it a well, day. Well, I told you I was lazy. Absolutely. So all I did was punch holes around the edge, punched holes around the top, and then I just sewed it up. And, of course, the holes do not match whatsoever. So I went through them, and I back, and I just made it look good on the top. And then I covered it up with suede. Well, that sounds like a And it looks like I did a really perfect, like I'm a super crafter. <laughs> But I'm not. Uh, it looks like I'm a super crafter. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get some really dark stuff in here. And color, color, and more color. Ooh. That was it's three layers of leather. Yeah, it's a it's kind of a little bit of a. Anyway, I made one. Just I want to see if I could make a round box. It was just a, nothing but a. That's all it was. I just want to see if I could do it, and it came out pretty good. Once I worked. Is this the only it. round box you've ever made? Oh no, I've made a lot of them. Oh, okay. Because. Uh, when I was doing this for money, a customer saw that, not that one, saw another one and said, oh, I'd really like those. Could you make me one? I said, yeah. Uh, how much? I said, 75 bucks. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done. But, you know, that was back in 1970, Yeah. whatever. So it was kind of a lot more money. They said, okay. So I made one. I figured out that I could do it. So I made two, and I have one sitting around, and somebody else saw that, and they said, would you make some of those for me? I said, yeah, how much? I told them 100 bucks, and I thought that would be good. Dang, those things are worth more than 100 bucks. <laughs> I mean, if you're paid by the hour, oh, yeah. gosh, you, you just Kevin's making pennies. Sure. <laughs> yep. Um, Your shirt wouldn't even get a pocket on it. No, it would not. So, That's not much of a shirt if you don't have a pocket. Yeah, we need some black dye here. 
I don't have any black dye. Yes, you do. Black paint. I got them. <laughs> Pokety poke poke will poke. You can poke paint. Brush paint, you can poke it. Now, by itself, that, that's not terrible. No. Especially if you look at it from... Afar. Yeah, afar. Okay. Squish, 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 squish. He's got some nice highlights and lowlights. Yeah, well, we're going to... He looks Dr. We're going to put some more in there. Okay. Let's see. We need... Ooh, brown. That's exciting. Are we back to the rose? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We'll be back to the rose right here. Now we're going to go for... Get inside the cap there and scoop us up a nice big blob. Little brown paint. I'm going to get into my semi green water. <laughs> More brown. Bob Ross didn't die, guys. He just started painting leather. Oh. I used to come home at night and Oops, not at night. He's come home in the afternoon from school. Watch him. He's an interesting character. He's pretty great. I did love the fro. I wonder if I can get Kevin in a fro. Well, I used to have one. I did. <laughs> we can get you back in one. Ah. I bet you I can Photoshop that. Oh, you wouldn't have Man, to photo. It's... I can forward you the photo. Oh no, right now today with a with a nice um aged fro look. Oh well like an age appropriate fro. I'm not sure I trust either of you. It's been a while since we've had a good photoshopped like Kevin slash Rusty. Like Darcy hasn't been doing our ads recently, and so we don't we don't get those fun I've got the picture I took of I wonder if Kevin Photoshop AI if I put fro oh. in with fro. You know, I'm really kind of, I want a color that I don't have. What color do you want, Kevin? Are you going to make it for us? I just smush a whole bunch of stuff around until I happen to get something halfway close. And then so you put a little autumn red into your light brown. Okay, we'll just, we're just, just going to. He wanted to see what we would say about him if he was quiet. Do that. <laughs> Has he been in the corner all the time? I said he was in room 302. Ooh, that's that's nice. That's 109. I think 302 is the padded room. It doesn't take much to qualify to get in there. Getting out is the why he was there so long. Yes. Oh, you just turned us off, Tony. I did? Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't know. There's nothing on the screen anymore. That's cool. <laughs> always, always work with less dye than you think you need. Always. Because your mistakes will be not as serious, not as dramatic, and they're more fixable. And before you go all spastic and say, oh my gosh, look what I just did. In reality, you probably just created a, a scenario to help you improve your, your skills. Because I, I tell people there's practically nothing you can do to screw this up. Nothing. Now, a bold statement. People argue to some degree, <laughs> and I'll tell you, you know, you could spill black dye on that, and you would think that that would do it, but it won't, because if you spill black dye on that, what you're going to have is a really nice black rose. You may have some odd colors, but it's going to be cool, and it'll be a black rose, and somebody is going to like that. Yeah, I know okay, some people. So anyway, that's uh. Go ahead.
go with the flow is what you're saying. Well, you know, you better learn to because if you don't, you're not going to be a happy person. We call that Semper Gumby, always flexible. Semper Gumby? Semper Gumby? Semper Gumby. And again, boy, when you're doing stuff like this, uh, man, a, a decent brush becomes more and more and more critical. Yeah, a nice fine tip makes your little work happy. Yeah. Are you using the same brush for all of that, or do you have different brushes? Well, if I was smart, I'd use the same brush, or I mean different brushes, but I've never made that claim. <laughs> so I, I have him like a half a dozen brushes over there, but nope, he's been using the same one just out of that sable kit or whatever. Yeah. And don't be afraid to turn your work. You're not. That's right. And uh, let me tell you, it's an easy thing to do to not do that because you're just painting away and you want to get into that little corner, but you're coming at it from the wrong way. And as soon as you do that, doom, death, and destruction away. That's a lot for not turning your work. Turn your work, guys. Yeah, that's what I say. That little pointy thing is just pretty darn happy. So we're almost done, really. There's a, other things we could do to this, but... I brought your antique in. Really? Thank you ever so much, Lee. Well, it was over there. I didn't touch it. Let's see. Want my bottle of antique? Oh, it's just behind the Sheridan. Never mind, we're good. Okay, then I'm probably just gonna... <clears throat> We're working with Angelus paints, Heath. Just a multitude of Angelus paints. And then he just mixes water with them to get them to whatever consistency Let's he wants see. to work with. We're going to take a semi-significant glob of brown and a semi-significant glob of Tony, go to the overhead real fast. white Tony. and overhead. a whole Tony. bunch of Hmm. I feel like if you put it like he here, that would be okay. Where? Just like your water you could put there. Well, I'll just do that. Okay, cool. And if it spills, it is your fault. I'll take it. This has gotta this has gotta go down to like nothing. I probably have too much too much brown. Would yellow lighten up brown? I got some. You want to try it? Sure. Well, shake it up. I don't. I tried to shake them on my way over here. I didn't open it. I don't mind you opening. Okay. <clears throat> you know, this is like when you hand like the bottle of pasta sauce to somebody and you already shook it up and then you cracked it for them and they don't realize that you've done that and then they go to shake it up and then you have the sauce all over your kitchen. That's never happened to me ever. Or that person. sauce all over Well, that's kind of a greasy looking stuff. Uh, yeah, that's a nice yellow brownie. Very. Is that what you wanted? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a you got you got some um some Dijon mustard situation there. Let's put some on this leather. I'll go right over top of the green. Doesn't really matter much, does it? So this is a late fall grass. Well, that's whatever you want. I'm gonna smush it around and well that's kind of fun with that. Yeah. See then I've got all this other stuff up here that's a little bit darker that's kind of close to it. So I'm gonna get a little uh, uh, tip of the brush and we'll just uh, we'll just put in a few darker areas here and there. Maybe. 
Those are supposed to be rocks over there anyway, so we'll make them darker. And then we got some, oh, there's, there's some dark stuff right there. Ooh, there's really dark stuff. And we'll... Mush it around. I like mushing. That's why you always need a new brush, just because you're constantly mushing. Well, yeah. I'm going to put it right on top of this green. And the little areas all around. We're just, just going to mush it out. Oh, what the heck. Yeah. I don't know. Are people able to see that? Hopefully. They actually, this is not a bad shot. I mean, we really get the full mushing effect, I feel like, guys. Are we feeling the mush? I mean, we're like peeking around the corner. Yeah, but you can really see the mush. Look at that mush on the brush. Brush mush. It's all white. Oh, I've smushed it. <laughs> Vince, <laughs> would you like some white? Yeah, if you could open that. Not over my rose, for heaven's sakes. You can't ruin it, though, Kevin. Yeah, exactly. It could. We just mess it up. Well, you'll just have a light rose, but like water droplets. Yeah. Ooh. It'll be a snowy rose. Mmm, <laughs> those mountains are snow topped. I don't really like to usually do that kind of thing, but but I will. My gosh. I haven't had this much fun since my cat died. <laughs> you know, that's kind of fun. I think I think I'm gonna take what's the matter? You with broke glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Let's see. We're gonna do some yellow. Yellow. <laughs> Okay, here's here's kind of some fun stuff. Just his cat just died. Oh, I was, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Yellow plus green. Okay, yellow and green. You don't really care for cats, do you? They're okay. Yeah, they're okay. They they like me a lot. Yeah, you can tell. Well, it's because I was allergic to them. Oh, so that they were especially drawn to you because they know they, they could bring you down? Yeah. In cat fashion. We had this, oh, this cat when we lived in a trailer in Ozark. I gotta get this right now. We need some yellow and green mixed together. Dang, that's okay. That might work. Cat came to the door. Mm -hmm. Cat came to the door every night. Screen door, which we had open, and it sounded meow. And this wasn't your cat. This was just a no. Cat. This was a stray cat. Okay. We wanted in, you know, and I wasn't gonna have it. So Becky lets him in, <laughs> and. Where's the cat go? You know, right to me. So anyway, we put him back outside, left him out there. Well, then dumb thing claws a hole in the screen and gets in. So Becky wants the cat. I figure it's cheaper to keep the cat and not have to worry about the screen anymore and all that other stuff. And uh, that was really, he turned out to be a really nice cat. You know, he was like really, really nice. But I was allergic to him. Mm -hmm. So he vanished. And uh, he wasn't around for a week. And I was, you know, kind of wondering where he went. Yellow is for highlights. Okay. So then we're going to take. How much time do I have? 
Five. Ten, ten minutes. Oh, okay. Twenty minutes, as long as you want. you want. Oh, I guess it's not important. We're going to take some red. I love red. Mix, get a little yellowy mixed in there with it. Bring it in. And we'll just put some of that in these flowers here, or the grass, I guess. What it is. Anyway, that cat didn't show up for a week, and I don't know, really don't think more. I walked outside in the back deck one night, and I hear this, that is the perfect sound of a sick cat. I mean, he was sick, and he comes out from behind a, uh, a shed that we had. He must have been under it or something, because we looked for him, and, and uh, oh, he was just a pathetic mess. He takes him to the vet, and gets him all better and he's happy, you know, and, and, uh, that cat adopted me from that moment on. <laughs> and actually, I outgrew my allergy to him. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he was pretty nice. So we called him Scraggles because he was really a scraggly looking mess. And, uh, he just grew into the most beautiful cat you ever saw in your life. He was just gorgeous for a cat. He wasn't so scraggly anymore? No, he was really pretty. And and he got to the point where I could call him. I'd go to the door at night and say, Cat! And he would come. <laughs> you know, no matter where he was, he would come. And if I'd lay on the couch, he'd jump on my back and do those putty pad things. Uh-huh. No, that was, that's a good cat. <laughs> That will give you a massage. Okay, so there's there's my little. Uh, you know, I got really worried there when you went to smoosh around the brown. At yeah, the bottom, I, know, I know. But it it actually it was fine. I think we might have to experiment with this stuff a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I was going to. Uh, I was going to put. I was going to put leather glow over that. Yeah. We got some. I don't know if I want to now. You like it? Well, I like the way it looks. It's pretty bright. Hmm. Now, would you need to resist it if you put the leather glow on it? Well, I did. I resisted the, the row. Yeah. The would rose you resist itself. the rest of it? Right. So before we came on here, Kevin was resisting using the, the RTC resist. Um on the rose itself. Is that is that going to prevent the paint from drying on it? Or is that fine? You can paint over resist. Yeah. And it should, it'll dry just fine. Okay. Well, yeah, this is not paint. Well, no, but you did just paint the rose and you had resisted that. This is not thick enough. I'm not going to put that on there. All right, we're not gonna do it. If it was, uh, if it was highlighter, I might. Well, I didn't get the highlighter. Well, that's okay. You know, I'll, I'll tell you what we could do though. We could experiment. Okay. With this. So, guys, there's the rose. Boy, that's so look. You can see it from there. <laughs> uh, maybe we could, maybe we could paint the rose with this stuff. And then wipe it off carefully. I wonder if that would work. Whatever you want to do, Kevin. No, I'm not sure. I'm kind of having to think. You want me to go get the highlighter? I know where it is. Uh, wow, this is runny. Do you want that? Yeah. All right. Oh, can you do that up here? Thanks. They call this, I call it, goof group. For a reason. It is a Springfield leather product. You can't screw it up. You know, you just can't. Highlighter or maybe original goof proof. Yeah. Might be something that we could put on there. I think that's so running. One thing about, uh, Runny dyes or whatever. Have I got this looking right? No, I don't. Let's see. It looks that way. 
Okay, that's my trees with goof proof on them as compared to this. Let's see. So now I don't I wonder what'll happen if we put goof proof over that. It'll probably not do well on the white. But hey. One way to find out. It's exactly correct. And maybe I can just sort of avoid the white. That was really fast. Yep. It's what we knew they were. Now, when you do this, I should have told you, um, I didn't put anything over this at all. And using a sponge on top of paint is not always smart because you will rub paint off, or at yep. least if it's not dry. And my tree wasn't quite dry yet. But, but I think we put a little, you know, we put a little green on there to get it back to where it was if I had. It doesn't look bad though. No, it's fine really. There. Perfect. And using your fingers is perfectly legal. <laughs> Actually, I always do use my fingers when I'm painting on leather most of the time, or at least sometimes. I tried to avoid it this time. So if we took some green yeah typically in it in, in all applications i tell people that if you are painting that like your coat of resist if you need to resist should be a spray on um unless you really have a long time like it, if you let that paint cure for like 24 hours or overnight yeah like finish this let it cure if you do need to use a wipe on resist or a wipe on finish um, because otherwise you will run the risk of just wiping your paint right off the leather. Yeah, and I'm just I'm just kind of smooshing around here with some other colors. Just That's all we've been doing for the last hour. Smooshing paint. Smooshing paint. But you know it's coming out okay, really. The more paint you get off your brush, the more you can smoosh. Garrett says this might be the first time that uh, he's seen you not in a rush to get off of camera, which mm. I second that, Garrett. That's, Let's see. I finally got something Kevin's having fun at. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a big video. See you guys. <laughs> Pretty animated with the rock show. Well, he was talking about rocks. We get some brighter. What if you paint it on rocks? How long would that video last? Uh, not long, because I don't like paint on rocks. No? He's done that. <laughs> Is it too slick? Uh. Or it's just there's no point in painting over a rock because all the beauty's already there. It's already pretty. <laughs> so. Oh, that's fun. A little bit more yellow, but so. That's kind of neat. For something little and well, insignificant. So anyway. <clears throat> That Boy, I'm sure scared to put that highlighter on there, I can tell you. Because it's going to, you know, one thing I like about this, I like all the natural leather around it. I do too. And if I put highlighter on there, it's going to be dark leather around that. You could spray it with Masters. We could spray it. We could not do it online. We could, we could call it a day. We could spray it, let it cure really, really well. Not in here, Kevin Hopkins. I wouldn't dream of it. You were just dreaming of it. Just have it. <laughs> Um, there's too much camera equipment for us to be spraying quick dry in here. He was contemplating it. <laughs> well, um, so we can spray it really good and make sure it's really cured so that that way the leather won't antique. I think we should do that. I don't think you can spray it good enough so the leather won't take some of it. Maybe you can. This is a, got a little bit of a 
an open grain. I think I think we could do okay, but I do really like the natural leather look. Guys, isn't that just gorgeous? Yeah, and you actually end up with a really cool plate. Yeah, that's somebody just said we could probably sell your plate as modern art. Oh, be careful, it's got some loose stuff on it. We could customize it. <laughs> we could let it uh, there, we just have drizzle. Some problems. <laughs> Who wants to buy Kevin's plate? Oh. We'll send it with your next live shopping order. <laughs> so anyway, you know, there's a lot of other things you could do with that. A lot of little finessey paint things, but that's good. It's great. Kevin, we finally did it. We did, and I'm so glad. You did such a good job. Mm -hmm. Now I have to find a different project for you. Well, it's going to have to be later because I'm leaving. He's going to lunch. Yeah, well, no. Oh, oh. Oh. Heavens. Did you miss something? I did. Back, back to the top, Tony. What do we miss? Nope. Will you just stop it right there? Oh. Oh, you forgot his stem. Poor guy. Yeah. Oh, you forgot that one too. I know. I missed a whole bunch of leaves there. That's <laughs> what you get when you're in a hurry. There. I feel much better. There you go. There. Perfect. Well, not. Perfectly imperfect. Okay. Wait! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> now we're good. Now it's good. So that's Kevin's colored rose. I do, I do think we'll leave it natural and I'll have Denny frame it and we'll hang it up. Sorry guys, maybe one day. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll sell it one of these days. Don't forget to clean but, your brush. I, no, we can't. This is Kevin's first rose since 1981. I feel like you should put a date on there somewhere so that we know. This is gonna this is gonna have to stay here. His wife got the last one, and I feel like maybe Lindsay should get this one. Oh, there you go. You can get her. She deserves a rose. So anyway. Yeah, we can we can swill knife a date into it at another time. Okay. Alrighty guys. Well that is the video for today. We will not have one on Friday. I am headed out of town. Uh Denny has hurt himself. Um, and so we're gonna be taking this Friday off. Plus, I think it's like I just need a break anyways, otherwise I might crash. Um, but we will still do live shopping tomorrow, so join us at 2 p.m. Um, we have figured out how to live shop on Facebook and Twitch simultaneously. So for all of you anti-Twitchers out there, we're back on Facebook. You can join us. We'll be there at 2 p.m. Central um, for live shopping. I want to make sure it's clean. All the paint off? Um, yeah, it's all awesome. Okay. And then we will be back next Wednesday. Denny will be teaching me uh, his advanced class. So I'm going to be doing some tooling for you guys. Who would have thunk that this day would have come. So hope everybody has a great rest of your week and weekend. And we will see you next week. Bye. Say bye. bye. Thank you.